do you ever have issues with like dating the talent or talent wanting to date you? Like how how's your what's your perspective on that? Well, I'm dating a talent, so like it's just like okay. it's just <laughs> that, that. But, but does it, that ever become problematic for you? That, that, it's problematic in the relationship. Mm-hmm. In, in the relationship, it's also problematic that like uh, she's talented. So mm-hmm. like so there's like so like. For me, I want to use her because I know she can do stuff, but I feel that you don't want to also use her all the time. So like people were like, oh, it's like you, you, it's, it's, you favor her over other people. Mm-hmm. Or she have like special privilege and stuff like that. It's just like, so, so you try to be like, so, so now I'm trying to do like, for example, when I work for any studio, I cannot, the rules that I have with her in the studio is that I cannot bring her up. Mm-hmm. So, like, if you want me to work with her, it needs to come from the studio. Right. It cannot be come from me. Right. So that that's why I try to to like to do the stuff, you know, mm-hmm. like, uh, and it, and they always come from the studio. It never come from because I try to separate. You don't want to play that part that like, oh, of course she had the part. She she slept with the director or something. So you yeah. try, to, and and for me it's it's also hard for her because like it's also like that's what people say. Right. You know, like, oh, she got nominated. Of course, she slept with the director. And just yeah. like, just has no, we have nothing to do. I don't talk to yeah. AVN or XBiz or anybody else to have her nominated or anything. But like, people like, just, that's the thing. I, I, sometimes I wish that she was not good. So like, I, would, <laughs> I would be like, well, you're not good. I cannot book you. But like, it's just like, she's good. So like, I like to book her and I like to work with her. But like, That's probably part of what like attracts you to her too, is that, you know, she's talented and she's you know, you have to have a certain level of like intelligence to be able to, yeah. you know, be good at your job. Yeah, be good at your job and be able to. It's but it's 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 great conflicts. It's for mm-hmm. sure because it's sometimes it's also her as a, as like a, a talent. She's just like, oh, you're doing that crazy movie. Why I'm not in it? She's just like, you know, like it's just like we need to, you know, like that. And sometimes sometimes it's frustrating because you feel that you have like. You get put aside because you're dating the director. So like, you yeah. See, yeah, yeah, I yeah. see. I could see you, you how see, it can go both ways. Yeah, you just see like, okay, they, we don't want to show that to other people that you always book your girlfriend or something. So now yeah. we don't booking her for that movie. And it's like, even if she's we perfect for it, we we'll just skip her. It's just like, yeah. like okay. <laughs> it's just like I feel bad for her, but it's just like I understand too, you know. But like, but it's but is it is it? I understand it's a diff. I understand the. the the relation that you have, but like, but like even when I was not dating a person, you know, like you also like, you also go with like, and that's why I said to people sometime when you're friend, like I'm a friend with Charlotte Stokely. And like, of course, like when it was just like, I, she was in my first movie and she was like, when I was nobody, she accepted to do that. And after that, we build a relationship and a friendship. And now just like, of course, if I'm doing a great movie and I'm like, I'm writing and I'm like, oh, oh, sure, I would be great for that yeah. movie. And you put her in the movie and like, and after that, you call her and you book her. Yeah. We're not dating. We never did, but we just, we're yeah. happening to be good friends. So it's kind of the same kind of like privilege that you get mm-hmm. that like, being a friend with a director and like other people that you have. Sometimes some director, maybe, I don't know if you ever had that, but you have a muse, the girls that you really yeah. like. And like, and now you wrote stuff for her all the time and you'll see her all the time or some people that you know that they're good at their job and then the, the work is just like, you know, for me, it's a, some say all that. So that for her, she had the fact, of course, the fact that she's closer to the director, she had access to some information maybe that it could be problematic, but it's, 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 it's very hard to manage that. How is it for you? Does she work with guys? Yeah, she worked with guys. How is it for you, her working with other guys? Because, like, one kind of feedback that I see so much on my podcast is listeners who cannot comprehend the concept of, like, having a girlfriend or a wife who also has sex with other people. Like, it's just, like, blows people's minds. So, you know, I think working in the adult industry, we see things differently. So how does it – how does that work for you? Do you guys ever have issues with that? I think I think it's the thing. The thing is like you have to understand. It's just like it's for me. It's just like I see that as a work. Mm-hmm. So so like it would be very weird on my hand to be like, oh, you gotta go fuck people. That's my work. And it'd be like, woman, you fuck those people. That's my work. It's work. I and mean, that's the yeah. work. When you fall in love with me, when you decide to date me, I was doing that job. Yeah. So, but we also do see a lot of girls who end up with even male performers. And then the male performer makes them stop 
doing boy girl, but the male performer continues to shoot with other girls. Yes. So like you do see like that weird complex. Yeah. Jealousy but I, come up. It's hypocrisy. It's yeah, just like totally. it's just it's just like because you you the thing is also that it's also depending on the person. Mm -hmm. Like if you're a very confident person and you don't you don't like doubt of yourself just like if you're a shitty person you treat her like garbage of course you don't want to go shoot with other people because like you know that she will fall in love with maybe someone else and you will dump your ass yeah <laughs> but if you treat her well yeah. if you if she's happy in your relationship and you have like it's you know like everything's good she it's her job she will see it as a job and she will not go see her and you don't have to be f scared mm -hmm. like for me i decide to live my life with no jealousy at all mm -hmm. And it's just like that's for me the important part in a relationship is, tr is trust. Yeah. And if you lose that trust, now that came jealousy. Yeah. And for me, if if I lose trust and then jealousy came, I'm out of the relationship because I can't. You know, I work my life like I work a lot, and I and I have moments, and I don't want to be on set being like. Oh my God, she's shooting with this guy right now. Maybe I'm assuming that he gave her an orgasm and I can't forget. And now you, your head is fucking <laughs> going everywhere. Yeah. And just like, and you're concentrating on your work or like, or she's like, oh, I am going to, to with my friends to a party tonight. And I'm okay, I'm staying home. I'm staying home, relaxing, watching TV. I don't want to stay home being like, oh my God, how many guys she's blowing in the bathroom right now. And just like, <laughs> how the fuck, how can you live your life like yeah. that? It's just like, it's just for me, it's just getting like, I will be insane by the end of the yeah. the month or something. It's just like, it's, um, it's not fun. So I decided to just like, I trust you no matter what you do. Yeah. Do your stuff. I, I trust that you're smart enough to don't do bad things and everything. And I don't even worry about it at all. Yeah. I watch TV and it's just like, yeah. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.